We've set ourselves up for the ILS runway 36 approach at Harrison, Arkansas. You can see the chart is pulled up and the aircraft position is shown on the chart. We're currently following a vector out to the south. And uh, let's say the controller decided to uh, give us not that great of a vector and we're gonna bring us in a little tight. That's okay. Let's say we've been cleared for the ILS approach. I'm gonna press the out pitch soft key to access the autopilot vertical modes. Press the approach soft key. That's armed to both glide slope mode and localizer mode. I shouldn't have to do anything else at this point other than manage the throttle and the rudder pedals. The autopilot will follow the heading bug around to 315. That should be a pretty good intercept angle for the localizer. Look at that, it's capturing the localizer and the needle's still on the peg. That's what GPS aiding will do for you. Now as that localizer needle comes in, it's going to turn to land right on it. And notice we have about a 15 knot wind. Oh, it's kind of a right quartering headwind. Harrison traffic, experimental 989 or Tango Sierra is 8 miles to the south. Inbound ILS 36 practice approach will be straight in for a full stop, Harrison. There we are, right on the localizer. We'll wait for the glide slip to come in and the autopilot will start us right down the approach. Still holding 3,700 feet or thereabouts on this bumpy afternoon. Glide slope needle is starting to come down now. I can also see the runway projected ahead on the synthetic vision display. There we go. GS mode is active. We're capturing the glide slope. It's putting the nose down. It's now going to follow the glide slope all the way down to the runway, although for this approach the decision height is 1600, so that's where we'll stop and take control manually. You'll notice that I started the approach fairly fast and I've been slowing down. If I was practicing better technique, I wouldn't do that, but I wanted to show you how it tracks the glide slope through power changes. We've wiped off 30 or 40 knots and it's tracking the glide slope needle within one needle's width. At 1,600 feet, I'm going to use the control wheel uh, disconnect button on the stick to take over. And we'll land out of the ILS. Just about 200 feet to 500. go. We got the 500 foot AGL call out. Runway is clearly in sight. Here's our 200 foot warning. Here we are at decision height. Right on the money. I don't know if I could have flown it better myself on a windy day like today. We get a triple tone to indicate autopilot disconnect. 